change the brush, I'll go to the smart brush that I was working with and I'm going to go for a selection of number 9 pure 9 I want this to be red like the wine be careful with the form it's not a circle So that was two or nine? No, only nine. Oh, just nine. So that mixture? It looks like a drop of water, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. Only nine, not mixture. There. Now, what comes next is just a touch of number ten. And it's the same. Mm -hmm. And with number 10, I'm just going to focus on the darkest area, wet, over wet, on a second layer, on this part. So I leave a little bit of red underneath, which allows me to think that there's light going through the thin part of the, the skin and makes like a red reflection beneath. So there's like a degradation from, from dark to red color. So okay. you applied it to the top. Yes. Right. First I painted, I solved the, the form with right. number nine. Right. And then on top of that, just a touch just a of touch. Uh, dark number 10. I'll leave that brush. I'll go back to the mid brush, the second one that I was using. Clean it up a bit. I'm going to start with number five, which is red, which is pink. I'll add a touch of eight, five and eight. A little bit of purple. What purple? Violet. Or yeah, violet. Let's see, uh, I like that color. The nose tends to be a bit more red than the rest of the, the face. Violet. So with this it's color, I'll start with the shadow. Connect the tip of the nose with the branch brown shadow that I was painting and this goes down. This tends to be a warmer color. There it is. Okay. Now this color also works for the transition here, the tone. A little bit. There we go. over here on the eyes, brush stroke here. I'm trying to identify on the image where can I lay down this pinkish, reddish color that I have on the brush, just, you know, working at a transition tone. There it is. Okay, now I'll change the brush for a bigger one clean it. I don't know what it had, so Which I clean number? it up. What? Which brush? This is the number four that I was using. Now, <coughs> fill it up. Yes, fill it. Okay, number five, number six, a little bit of seven, five, six, and seven.
like the color. This color, like for the for the folds of the nose at the bottom, that will give the volume to the nose. There, there's a small shadow here. And then I'll pick up some, uh, let's see, some some royal blue. I'm adding royal blue to make the tone a little bit colder. And with this tone, I will connect this shadow to the middle. There it is. Same color over here. Why do I paint with the same color, small brush strokes on different areas? So it looks even. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that the vibration of the tone is not just concentrated in one area. I'm just touching different parts so that it makes sense that all the face is receiving that type of light. Pretty